Hello everyone, welcome to Zero Zero. My name is Rasim. We will create one simple smart contract by using Solidity and Node.js and Truffle. In general, I believe use those uh, commands. I summarize it. And for the project, you need to install Solidity. And also, if you don't have it, you need to install Node.js and Truffle. You can download them from those links. And also, Ganache, uh, Ganache is a local blockchain. Let's start with the project creation in the first place. I will create one folder. And then I will initialize one Node.js project with the default settings. And then in, in that, I will initialize also Truffle project. Later on, to execute my Truffle command, I need Truffle package. During this time, You can install Ganache on the on the other tab. Uh, I uh, I'm using the uh, Ganache program, but you can use it as a picture as well. In general, yeah, it is. It will take a time to install. Oh, is ready and done. Installed. So let's open this project in a VS Code. And then in the first place, yeah. Uh, as you see, we have some uh, some skeleton in here. Uh, uh, when we start a project with the truffle uh, it will give me such a uh, giving us such a skeleton under the contract we are implementing our uh, smart contracts migration we are uh, we are uh, implementing our deployment scripts and test we are implementing under it our unit test so let's start with smart contract lesson so yeah, uh, all of the solidity smart contracts uh, ends with the dot so. So, in the first place, we will define our solidity version. We use this solidity version. And, uh, them. All of the smart contracts start with the contract map keyword. Okay, and then let's define one local variable. Think private. Let's Hello. Yes, for example, let's say, and then let's implement our setter and getter for this variable. So, first method will be setter function set lesson with 
very good. Memory lesson. Method typical publish. Yeah, by the way, uh, the variable types you can define as a memory or storage. Uh, you know, if you define as a memory, it will keep you know in a temporary place. And oh, let's say so. Lesson we will set local. And then that's our implement our method. Okay. Lesson. Okay. It will be public view and returns return memory and sorry return. And in general, better to, better to put some notification to a method that they are doing some transaction. That's why we are defining one event and you change it for example. That's enough. Notification and then after the variable change, we will notify. Let me change it with this appearance here. Okay. Oh, and, 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 and add our license. Yes. And fire. And I can say, or you can mention what you want. So, this is basic smart contract. And let's compile it in the first place. To compile it, we will use Truffle. You know, for the compilation, if everything, if your code uh, don't have any issue, it should, it should successfully compile your smart contract. As you see, you can see the default details in here, and also you can see the your smart contracts JSON files. In general, we will use uh, you know JSON uh, smart contracts JSON files, especially for the directory. And then, so we will just work fine, and then we will implement. We will do a session. We will. Implement our migration scripts for the deployment speed for the deployment. Yes, we will implement uh, by using JavaScript. So, in here, calls the lesson with the smart contract name uh, RT require. Yeah, 
have to just to deploy if we don't need any any variable uh, from the deploy method we can just make it. deploy lesson it's very simple to deploy with the with the trouble that's all and later on we will do our trouble configuration or the deployment yeah let's uh, yeah maybe we can try to deploy to see we haven't done any configuration yet yeah the error was expected because we haven't done truffle configuration to which target we will deploy local blockchain or vinky by robstan or Ethereum mainnet, you know, we will do, yeah, we can have a little details in here, but what I need, I need to do some configuration in here. First of all, uh, I need to install Ganache for the local development and also for the local testing as well. So you can use those, uh, those two commands uh, npm install you can install ganache to uh, you know to a package time a package time json file and then you can populate some some wallets with the uh, with the testing ether but i installed ganache and it is already giving me some some ethers with the Mnemonic and with the private keys, I have everything, you know, in here, everything. I have everything. That's why I will use those configuration for my local testing. So I am finding the development section. In here, I am uncommenting and then the port, 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 port. Oops. Five four five five network ID we can start, but my Ganache network ID. Actually, that's all. Let's try to run again the same command. You see, it deployed successfully. Yeah, that's all. You know, now our smart contracts uh, runs on the on the blockchain, local blockchain. And if uh, the important things, uh, you know, for the blockchain side, when we deploy to anywhere, you know, to see to reach to our smart contract, we need its address. Okay. Keep it. Uh, keep it safe and uh, it is used uh, it used to deploy uh, this account this account should be on the ganache 955 as you see in here the first one it used as an account there was you know a uh, hundred before now it uses uh, some of them for the deployment. So let's test it. Okay, everything looks fine. If it deploys successfully. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we will use actually same command, but this time I already deployed it. Uh, I will activate the Truffle console. Okay, now I'm here. Now uh, I can 
uh, I can use, uh, I can try to reach to smart contract that I deployed and I can uh, execute all of its public methods from here as well. That's why, yeah, first of all, let's find our deployed smart contract. So, it. First of all, we are, it will find our deployed smart contract and find it, but it doesn't, don't, don't worry about it. Now, let's have a look. We already set some variable uh, at the beginning of the variable, right? Let's have a look what was the lesson variable. M8 lesson dot method name, get lesson for example, M8 lesson, get lesson. So let's try to change its value. So wait lesson get lesson. Yeah, as you see, uh, yeah, it is, uh, you know, uh, printing some logs because we put some logs in here. Yeah, it is, uh, it is printing all of the details about the transaction and it is taking a screenshot of the blocks and printing to our screen yeah, regarding to uh, those information. Yeah, we can take an action. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, uh, the value is executed. The method is executed. Let's have a look. The method is built. Right, you see? Our, uh, our method is worked successfully. Uh, in general, in a simple uh, way, uh, you know, smart contracts working like that. We can put so many, uh, uh, we can improve it, we can develop some other functions, and, you know, we can use other variable types, but in general, uh, those kind of basic things uh, you have to use in all of your project. Why we uh, why we chose uh, in general Truffle. Uh, Truffle is, is really a good uh, blockchain management library. Uh, on behalf of us, uh, it is giving us really nice skeleton. Also, uh, regarding to uh, software development lifecycle, what we need, we, we need, you know, we need to implement unit tests, for example. We are implement uh, really nice, uh, cool uh, unit tests by using Truffle. And uh, with the Ganache, uh, you know, we can uh, mock our, uh, our blockchain and mock our smart contract, and we can do all of the tests in our local machine by using Ganache. Yeah, as I said, you can use uh, Rinkibai. Uh, you can deploy your smart contracts from here to uh, Rinkibai or uh, any other testnet. Also, you can deploy to production mainnet as well. That's all, guys. I hope you like it. Uh, do not hesitate to ask any question. That's all for today. Have a good weekend. Bye.